I bet that you could learn a lot with this project, even if this is made for a baby and I understand that not all of you guys have a baby. But you could transform this to any other project such as an alarm, maybe a toy or anything related with sounds, with lights and control with Arduino and EEPROM memory. And you must wonder, what kind of project is this? Well, this is a so-called white noise generator. Because you see, I bought this one for my newborn baby girl and I don't like it at all. And it's quite expensive, because for some reason everything related to babies has to be double the price. Anyway, I don't like it at all for a bunch of reasons. So I told to myself, why you are an engineer if not for this moment? So let's make a better version. This project will have music control, light control, timers and EEPROM memory storage, 3D printed enclosure and much more. So you might learn something new as well. So guys, let's get started. PCBWay is creating high quality PCBs for prototyping and for very low cost, so everyone could use their services. So don't hesitate and for only $5, order your PCBs in just a couple of minutes and improve your projects. I've used their services for years and the PCBs are just as I wanted them to be. The finished surface is perfect. The solder mask as well. The size, the vias and the markings are precise. You can select all sorts of settings, starting from the thickness and the color, up to the gold finish for the better conductivity, the copper thickness for more current and other specific settings. So check PCBWay.com for PCBs and other services, such as CNC metal engraving, 3D printing services and mold injected parts so you could make the entire project at the same time. So if you have a good project, why not make it perfect using PCBWay? What's up my friends, welcome back. I'm making this project because I've got tired of using the commercial noise generator for my baby. For example, imagine this. Usually you use this at night when you can't see anything. So how could you know which one is the on and off button because they all look the same and feel the same. But there is more. My daughter likes a particular sound from this machine. You can select different sounds using these three buttons as you can see here. But if I turn it off, it always starts with the default sound. So you have to figure out which button and how many times to press it in order to reach the sound that you like. And you have to do that in the middle of the night. Also the light has only two intensities. Off, full brightness and fading. So to use this as a night light, it will always wake up my baby when in full brightness. So let's make our own baby white noise generator. Let's start with the part list. Well, we start with a 3D printed enclosure. But you could use any plastic case for this purpose. But I wanted to design my own and print it. It has three parts, the main case, the top part and some feet. It has a hole for the speaker and some other holes for the push buttons and potentiometers. Also we have an input for the charger. Next for the electronics, we start with a 5W speaker. To amplify the sound, I'll use this small 5V spam amplifier. It already has the volume potentiometer and that's great. For power, I want to use two of these 18650 batteries like these ones. And to charge them, as always, I want to use the TP4056 USB charger. To play the sounds, I'll use a DF player module. This also needs a small micro SD card that will be formatted to FAT32. To add lights, I want to use addressable LED strips with the WS2812 chip. Like that I can control each LED separately. And to control everything, obviously I will add an Arduino Nano. Extra we need some push buttons and a potentiometer. And that's pretty much everything that we need. Let's start assembling the project. Download from below and have it in front of you this schematic. First I prepare the power. I solder some wires to the charger and connect it to the batteries. Also check if the module is recharging the battery. 
Next I prepare the audio. I solder the DF player on a prototyping board like this one. I connect the speaker output to the small PAM amplifier. And from the amplifier I solder the small speaker. Everything works with 5 volts, so they can share the ground and VCC line. Then I connect it to the Arduino on pins 10 and 11 for software serial. And later I'll also share the ground and 5 volts. Now I can add the push buttons and the potentiometer to the top part of the case. I also add some wires to the LED strip and glue it in place on the perimeter of the case. Now if you check the PAM amplifier potentiometer, you will see that it also has a switch, and you can also hear the click. I want to use the same switch as the on and off switch for the entire circuit. So I solder wires to the pins on the bottom layer. Then I connect one to the battery charger output. And the other wire will be connected to the 5 volts of the rest of the circuit. I screen place this amplifier to the top part of the case as well. We also solder some wires to the buttons and the potentiometer. And then I connect all the wires to the Arduino pins. I also share all ground and 5V wires together. And the circuit is complete and ready for a test. So now get the SD card and on your computer you have to format it to FAT32. Inside we create a folder that is named MP3. And here you can copy all your sound files with the names like this, 0001, 0002 and so on. For now I have only these three files with different noise for a hairdryer, ventilator and his sound. Now remove the SD card and plug it into the DF player. And before we fix everything inside, let's check the code. We import all the needed libraries, which you could download from below. We define the use pins for the buttons, the LEDs and the potentiometer. Each time a button is pressed, we change to the next or the previous soundtrack. But we also save the track to the EEPROM. In that way, if I turn off the generator, later it will start up with the same song, which is supposed to be the favorite of your baby, right? Then using these lines, we adjust the brightness of the LEDs. And with the third button, we can also change the color of the LEDs from white, red, blue, and so on, and store that to the EEPROM as well. Upload the code and give it a test. So it seems that it works ok, so we could now close the case. But at this point I've decided to add a key feature to this project, and that is radio control, because you can't always reach the baby noise generator at night, especially when the light is off. That's why I've ordered one of these 433 MHz remote. And this is compatible with this receiver. Check the schematic below and connect the receiver to the Arduino on pin D2. First we need to get the data that the remote is sending. So we need to install this new library, so download it from below. I connect the receiver to another Arduino on a breadboard and we run the receiver example code, which you could download from below as well. Now open the monitor and push the buttons. You have to write down the decimal value corresponding to each button, because you'll have to change these values in your code, because they will be different. So I've changed the code like this, and each time I receive a new radio command, I run this switch. I can increase or decrease the light or stop the sound. So now with the radio connected to the Arduino, I could upload the new code. It's time to close everything inside. I use some hot glue and fix all the module inside. I also place the speaker. I use some small screws and close the case. Then I glue the feet in place and the project is done. Ok, so now that we have it, let's test it out. Using the volume switch you can turn on the noise generator. By default it starts with the first sound. Use the potentiometer to change the volume. Use the buttons to change to the next sound. 
and because it uses the EEPROM memory, it will always start with that sound. Use the other potentiometer to change the brightness, and this time from 0 to 100%. And you can use the third push button to change the color. And having the radio control is great. So everything works as I want it. You could now transform this project into any other kind of toy, maybe an alarm, or control anything with sounds or lights around your home. Or maybe you also have a baby, and you would like to make your own white noise generator. I hope this project will help you and that you have learned something new. If so, consider giving me a like or comment below. Thanks again and see you later guys. Hey, so one more video that ends, I hope that you like it. Ok, so listen, if you want to buy my merch, my t-shirts, you have the links below for my shop, and I promise that I will make more designs. And also, maybe you would comment below which one you like more and what more designs you would like to see, because in that way I could start designing them and post my new t-shirts. So thank you for all the support, and I'll see you in the next video.